Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing MotoGP 21 and it's time for round 10 of the Kimi Ring for qualifying here in the Finland GP. So here we are in the Finnish GP here in Kimi Ring and I've got to say I think it's well documented at this point but I'm really not a fan of this track and I don't have much confidence here and I don't have much faith in our uh, potential performance here today so I'm going to just do what we can do. That's all we can do in this. Just literally do our best and just see what happens. But I am honestly already expecting the worst. By the way, quick shout out to Zvixen. I do believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. He wanted me to change the boots to the black boots. And I also changed the knee sliders to black as well. He said it would look better. And I promised I would do it in a future episode. So here you go. Zvixen, this one is for you. We're using the black ones. And I'm hoping with this little bit of a... Uh, motivation boost from Zvixen, let's say, will give me some more help here in the Kimi Ring because, by goodness, I really do need it. I struggle so much here in the Kimi Ring and I think the problem is, is just that I never race here. I literally never do. If I'm going to be playing this game by myself, Kimi Ring is the last track I'll ever pick and I guess that's going to be the way for quite a while until probably MotoGP actually race here. I don't think I'm going to be inspired to use this track at any point. I'm just really not a fan of it. I like the idea of it, and I really do, but I just don't think it feels good for MotoGP bikes. If it was in Ride 4, and I could use it for maybe some smaller bikes, I'd probably enjoy it. But in the sense of a MotoGP 21, I don't enjoy this track. So I'll be honest with you, I'm not expecting much in today's video. I hope you still stick around and enjoy it nonetheless, because we are going to do our best, but I'm just expecting the worst. So surprisingly... Teammate Alicia Spargo is leading the way right now with a 143-169 and we've put ourselves into 5th place 1.7 seconds behind so we're certainly not doing anything particularly special right now and those black boots Vixen that certainly aren't seeming to be the problem <laughs> they aren't fixing anything we're still in the same position 40 minutes of this session remaining so we still have plenty of time but we just got to try and figure out how we can maneuver around this track without crashing and also by gaining some extra time. So into the first sector we go. We're only down by a tenth of a second so the first sector is obviously not the issue for Grant right now. It's the third and fourth split that I really really struggle with. I do lose a little bit of time here in this uh, mid-section but it's more so towards the end. I find the final couple of corners just give me a bit of trouble. I always find I just go too slow. That's pretty much it. I just go too slow. Just not quick enough. I feel alright, I mean I feel like I don't do too bad, but now when it comes to the final couple of corners it's just, <laughs> it's gone by then. I'm already going wide now into turn 10, we're down by 3 tenths of a second is the world champion. So now on the right hand side for turn 10, for turn 11 coming up any moment now. Make sure you don't touch the grass there because it always invalidates your lap time, so be very very careful if you do come anywhere near that. Now onto the left hand side for turn 12, very tight to the apex there as we uh, gradually bring on the acceleration now. Chuck it onto the right hand side, still using the soft rear and soft front and you can see how much effect that soft rear has had, it's really struggling. May have to consider swapping to the medium tyre, so onto the right hand side for 14. Let's uh, finish this lap and then we'll jump into the pits and get a better look of it. Oh, completely massive, oh my goodness, absolute massacre in that corner, absolute carnage, that is a horrific crash for Grant. And I don't think he's going to get back up after that one, so we're going to have to call it quits for the practice session and move on to qualifying but Jorge Martin leads the way with Peko Banyar and Zarco but now let's move on to qualifying. So looking at the qualifying results and there's absolutely no doubt that I was going to be in Q1 after only doing one lap that was not any good anyway so now all three of the Aprilias are in Q1 and what do you know it's raining. The heavens have opened and the track is sodden so now it's going to be even harder to potentially get into Q2 this could be our worst qualifying of the season. We already don't qualify very well. We didn't qualify well in Assen, but I can probably salvage something in a track like Assen. I just don't think I can salvage anything here in the Kimi Ring. So this is the ultimate bogey circuit for Dr. Ace. And honestly, I don't know where we're going to finish in this one, but we're just going to have to do our best. We're already down by eight tenths of a second. It's been absolutely ages. Look at the state of the riders going into turn five. Morbidelli's down, Petrucci was down, I think there was a couple more riders, it might have been one of the uh, LCR Castrol Honda riders, I'm not entirely sure, or maybe even Takan Akagami's Idibitsu Honda rider, but the only thing you can guarantee is that I'm not going to do well on this one, that, that is literally it. 
it's been so long since I've actually done a wet race in MotoGP 21 that now they chuck it in. Is the race going to be wet as well? It was last year, and it was a disaster. So if they're going to chuck in a wet race as well, then goodness me, they really are trying to punish Dr. Race here today. But we have faced adversity before, and we're facing it here today. We're going to respond well. Never mind, we're not. We're going to invalidate the lap. <laughs> Look at the state of the soft rear as well. I, what do we even choose? Do we go for the medium rear instead? I, I don't even know at this point. 11 minutes of the qualifying session remaining and the tyre is already absolutely glowing red. I, I definitely don't think we're going to be able to use that tyre. We need to change it to the medium. That's absolutely crystal clear. Maybe just run power setting too. I'm not entirely sure. The, the wet setting for us is just so rare. It's so hard to get used to in just 10 minutes. I really don't think this is going to be a very good lap, so across the line, well, this is an invalidated lap, so it doesn't really matter, but we do have a chance now with the soft front and the medium rear. Two minutes on the clock remaining. I did try and wait it out so we got a bit of a dry line, and now I'm really on the back foot. I've given myself absolutely no opportunities here for any mistakes. If I mess it up on this one or the next lap, then that's it. We have literally two attempts to get this right here in the Kimi ring to qualify decently I'm aiming for at least 14th, 15th place. I can't do any better than that here in the Kimi Ring, I just know it. Qualifying 2 is just completely out of the question. Alicia Spargo currently is looking like he's on the man who's on his way through with a 149.951. And Grant is uh, a country mile behind. Four and a half tenths of a second slower in the first split. I am using Power Setting 2 now because Power Setting 3 was just far too aggressive in these wet conditions. We now go on the left hand side for turn 9. Keep it into the middle of the track there and then slowly bring on the acceleration. Going off the racing line there was a bit of a mistake. And I was going to say we lost a little bit of time, but that would have been the understatement of the year. We lost a whole second, or pretty much six or seven th tenths of a second, in that split alone. So this has been pretty pants so far. We are in last position. Please, please don't qualify from last position. That would be absolutely awful. There will be so many riders to, for us to overtake in the Grand Prix in four hours time that that is just going to be absolutely dire it's going to be awful and honestly with the way I feel today I feel really rough and this is certainly not making me feel any better knowing that we're 1.5 seconds behind and we could potentially be starting at the back of the grid this is awful just comment down below if you like this track or not is it me am I the problem here or is it the track <laughs> let me know in the comment section down below so here we go, then across the line we're going to start our very final lap across the line, and it's actually a 151.804, which is good enough for the last position on the grid, and that is a terrible, terrible entry going into Turn 1. I'm already fearing the worst. Yep, we're already down by three tenths of a second, so unless we can claw a massive amount of time back into that first sector, I really don't think there's going to be anything too promising for us here in the Kimi Ring. So anyway, we'll bring on the acceleration, and fingers crossed, guys, we cannot start from the last position. The world champion cannot start from last position on the grid. We just can't allow that at all. So bring on the acceleration. We are going to lose time here. Nine tenths of a second. Goodness me. And then go firm on the brakes for turn five and keep it nice and tight. It's the apex. So are we going to gain any time back in the next couple of sectors? So let's see what happens as we progress now going into turn eight for this flip-flop section. We did gain a little bit of time back. Not a massive amount, but we did gain a little bit. But a little bit more is better than none, so not too bad. So it's up actually. We've got a bit of a green in the top right hand corner where you have improved. We're only a second down compared to the 1.1 that we were down last time. So this is still awful, but not as bad. So positives are coming. You've got to stay positive. This is Christmas after all. Think of the uh, Christmas spirit. And going on to the right hand side for turn 11. Turn 12 is going to approach us any moment now as we go off the track there a little bit. Still in the green in the top right hand corner, but I think it's about to disappear. It's still close-ish. We might improve by about a tenth. We're going to start behind Lorenzo Salvadori. We're going to start from last place, aren't we? As we go, oh, we lost the front! Yep, we're definitely starting from last place now. The disaster of the finished GP continues. So guys, an absolute disaster of a qualifying session, but at least my teammate Alicia Spargro and Ika Leka want to find their ways through into Q2. But for us, we're going to be hanging on now until 6pm to be prepared for the Kimi Ring Grand Prix at 6pm. So guys and gals, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments section down below. Consider liking the video and subscribing as well. I will see you in the next video. Ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. 
Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dr. Ace video.